What is going on YouTube? We're back at it again with another episode of Thrift Store Chronicles, episode six. And on this week's episode, we hit up some thrift stores, we hit up some Goodwills, we had some offer up deals, man. We had a little bit of everything, man. We got some uh, some games for the PlayStation 5 collection, and we found a pretty, pretty rare game for the PS4. Uh, it's not super rare, but it's super out of print, if that makes sense. Um, free on the store, can't find it physical. So stay tuned to the end for that, because that's when we found it. Um, aside from that, you know, if you guys enjoy the content, you know, just how I say at the end of my videos, just hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. I uh, appreciate you guys for a hundred. Um, right now I'm in the vehicle because we're about to go out and look for some more, you know, another episode's dropping next week. So thanks. Check it out, guys. We just picked up this offer up sale. Three games for $20. Three PS5 games for $20, man. That's already a steal as it is. But when I met up with him, see, first one is Miles Morales. It's kind of got some little damage to it. Um, it has the code. I have no idea if it's even, like, valid. But check these next ones out. Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. And then we got Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. Now, these weren't listed in the uh, offer-up ad as sealed. But, man... When, when I saw they were sealed and even he mentioned it, he's like, yeah, man, $20 and they're sealed. I, I sent the man his money real quick. And I'm like, yeah, man, these are about to go to the collection because $20, that, that's, that's a good deal, you know. All right, guys, early morning at the Goodwill. Let's see what they got for us. All right, guys, we're back from that Goodwill. And we picked up a copy of Ant-Man Sealed. Brand new for $1.99. Should go for about $10 on eBay. And then check it out. We picked up some Power Rangers, the original Mighty Morphin. Super cool. And then we also picked up a 10-inch Mighty Morphin black ranger this one was 3.99 uh if i could sell it locally i should be able to get maybe 10 or 12 for it so that's pretty cool not bad for the first stop so let's see what's next all right guys we're here at our first spot one of our favorite spots desert industries so let's see what they got inside for us to start today Check it out guys, we're back from Desert Industries. We paid $11.37 for everything in this bag. That includes the Guitar Hero guitar for the PS2, the Mad Cats controller for the GameCube. We picked up the Spider-Man LED mask and we also picked up the uh, Star Wars R2-D2 phone case for the iPhone 5. So not a bad haul. Um, hopefully, you know, everything works. I told them what the return policy is. They told me that it only extends to shoes and clothes. So if this stuff right here doesn't work, then we're out of luck. But you know, for a couple dollars, man, you know, we might as well take the gamble and see what happens. Check it out, guys. We made a quick stop at the GameStop by our house. Uh, we picked up Dead by Daylight for the PS4. My brother sent me up there to go pick this one up. So when I went up there to go get it, they had another game for the PS5 for our collection. Dirt 5. And then, man, if you know about this one, this one pushes almost 85 on eBay, man. And we picked it up for a whopping... $29.99 man we used our coupons on this save ten dollars this one was a crazy find at the GameStop man it just goes to show that you never know what's in there they told me that someone had traded in uh just the day prior so I'm surprised it lasted a whole day you know and now it's coming back home with me check it out guys we are on the way to go sell this guitar we had tested it and it worked and like we listed it and probably about 10 minutes after listing it we actually got a message on offer up so we're gonna go sell this thing for uh 40 man it's pretty cool the only problem right now is that it's very disgusting outside so we're gonna try and go quick uh we're not too far from the house but it's pretty cool man turning four dollars into 40 bucks stay tuned all right guys it's uh 8:48 in the morning right now 
uh, I'm on my way to make this uh, drop, this offer up sale. Um, basically, the same person that bought the, the guitar for me uh, last night. Um, he was asking for some games, and turns out I had some extra games lying around uh, on my eBay. They haven't, they haven't had any traction, so I figured I'd do a bundle deal for him. So we're on our way to go do that, you know, and then we'll see what we get into after that. Check it out, guys. We are at Shaw's R and R Jewelry Loan. They're having a huge anniversary sale today. So let's see what type of discounts they got. Let's see what type of stuff we can walk out of here. As you can see, it's a crowded parking lot, so let's see if we can go find some space. All right, guys, we are back from the pawn shop, and man, um, this is a good stack right here. Look, as you can see, we got the Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Uh, this Lego Avengers, sealed. Death Stranding, Steelbook. Uh, we got some more down here. Man, we ended up paying $126.68 for 16 items but I'll tell you exactly why it's okay. Because this item here, this item, it's, it's super rare. It's out of print, they don't have, like I was surprised when I saw it. Uh, just wait till we get to the house, man. We're gonna go through everything and you're gonna see exactly what game it is. All right guys, we're back at the house and basically this is everything that we've picked up throughout the week. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. From the first batch, we picked up this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We got two more Power Ranger figures as well that we're gonna put into our little figure collection. Then here's a sealed copy of Ant-Man, which is certified fresh. Then we also have the Spider-Man LED mask, which I haven't had the chance to test because I don't have the batteries for it. Um, we picked this up for $1.50. Then we have the Star Wars R2-D2 phone case for the iPhone 5. So it might be a slow seller because I don't know who still has an iPhone 5 but kudos to you. And then we picked up this as well, the little wooden stick game. This is a vintage one right here. If you know about it, then you know we paid a dollar for it. Along with the Mad Cats controller, which we paid $3 for. Um, I haven't had a chance to plug up the GameCube to test it out. So the guitar worked and it sold quick. I'm hoping this works as well. We'll probably end up keeping it. Then we're moving on to the PS5 stuff that we got for the collection, Dirt 5. So this one was a good one. Picked it up for cheap. We have the Ratchet and Clank. This is the offer up deal right here uh, that I posted earlier in the video. So this is the thing that sucks about these games. This one's sealed, but it's loose. Along with this one right here, this one's also sealed, but so that's a bummer. Then, you know, the Miles Morales with the damage on it. Along with this right here that worked. That was amazing. I mean, we paid $20. I thought I was paying $20 for three. I ended up paying $20 for four. You know, and then this one that we picked up for $30. And then we're going to move on to today's finds, which we're starting off pretty hot right here with the Grand Theft Auto 3 on the original Xbox, Gran Turismo on PS1. And if you've seen uh, one of the previous episodes, then you know that we've picked this one up. And we're going to move on to the Xbox One. We only have one game for Xbox One. This one seemed kind of interesting. So we decided to test it out. Then we got No More Heroes 2 for the Wii. Red Steel 2 for the Wii. A sealed copy of Lego Avengers. So that's pretty cool. Definitive edition of Sleeping Dogs. Deer Hunter. Mortal Shell, which this one right here, CIB comes with a poster, so that's pretty cool. Tetris VR. We have Zombie Army 4. This one's a pretty good one to play. Then we have Sekiro. Along with Borderlands 3. This one here is the Steelbook Edition. And then Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration. This one is the slipcover version. So that's cool. Here we have the receipt for what we paid. It was $126. Here's two more that we have, which is the Death Stranding Steelbook. And then right behind it, PS4 check that out we're gonna go a little more in depth on this one because this find right here was insane check it out so if you know about this one then you know that this one's worth a good amount right here we paid nine dollars for it so pretty good solid find for the week 
We're going to go back out there in a couple of days and go look for some more. But man, check it out for the collection, for eBay. It's insane. So, you know, if, if you guys enjoy this, if you guys watch the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. We're, I appreciate you guys for 100 subscribers. It's only up from here. But yeah, man, we're going to take another look at this before we dip.